Hello, and welcome back to the Capital Wasteland. By heading west from the Reclining Groves Resort homes, we see a road leading down a hill. At the bottom is a military checkpoint. These can be found all over the Capital Wasteland, and are typically guarded by a Mr. Gutsy. But it can also be a Protectron or Sentry Bot depending on your level. Thanks to the Gatling gun we snagged from the Super Mutant Overlord in the previous video, we can quickly take care of the Sentry and make our way down. The checkpoint consists of an army truck, tent, and a small sandbag wall. The purpose of these checkpoints are to prevent civilians from entering the area while the radiation is cleaned up. It is unclear as to where the radiation that needs cleaning is, but a wild guess would be the Greener Pastures disposal site just up the road a short walk east. Inside the tent is a ham radio, a mattress, and two crates filled with random loot. Outside, we can head over to the truck for an ammo box, two more crates filled with random loot, and climbing into the back we see three skeletons, all of which are holding either a 10mm pistol or an assault rifle. Jumping down and looking left gets us two first aid boxes, three ammo crates, and another assault rifle. Also, death claws. Now by following the road west, we come to a T-junction, with the road continuing west, but also breaking off to the north to a nearby water tower. Not far up this northward road we see activity, and a closer inspection reveals the hostile marker to be a raider. Now what is it we always say? That's right, where there's one, there's more. However, atop this hill, the coast is clear. We see a trailer, some kind of structure, and the water tower from before. The water tower has nothing of significance, but we can head over to the trailer and climb inside. Inside are the scattered pieces of some unfortunate soul, a bottle of scotch, three crates, and whatever this little thing is. My curiosity became too much. I no-clipped through and found out it was the end of a chain the raiders had put in place to suspend another unfortunate soul. We can also see that the trailer is actually connected to a truck, but for some reason someone perhaps intentionally, but most likely accidentally, has driven it over the edge. I thought there would be a skeleton hanging through the broken windshield or lying on the ground in front. Sadly, there was not. A missed opportunity to be sure. It was just then a raider started shooting in my direction and reminded me that I have a video to make. I returned to the trailer, saw two death claws, and began culling the local wildlife. This is the Montgomery County Reservoir, the water treatment plant responsible for sending clean drinking water to the northern DC metropolitan area, and is actually a real-life location. Sadly, it no longer serves the once essential purpose and is now home to a group of no-good raiders. The plant has several large containers presumably filled with water. I mean, what else? Although clipping through reveals them to be empty, and these spherical containers completely disappear when entered. There's also a dirt path leading from the reservoir to the water tower and the LP8 broadcast tower, which you can learn about by clicking here. The last thing of interest is the nearby barn northwest of the reservoir. This location can have three different appearances. The first is the barn and only the barn, the second is the barn and the grain silo, and lastly is the barn, grain silo, and crates of aqua pura. These appearances depend solely on two factors. The first is whether or not you have the broken steel DLC installed, which adds the grain silo, and secondly, whether or not the take it back quest is completed, which adds the aqua pura. So, as you will soon see, I have the broken steel DLC installed, but I have yet to complete the Take It Back quest, so I have the silo, but not the water. 
Now the barn has three crates of ammo upstairs. If the take it back quest were to be completed, it would look like this. You can see the barrels of Aqua Pura and the signature Brotherhood of Steel logo on the side. And sitting atop one of these barrels is a rare blue pre-war book, also known as a false pre-war book. These pre-war books are added with the DLCs, but their numbers are severely limited, so don't expect to find that many through your travels. And then we have the grain silo. Heading through the silo door gets us inside, where we find an assault rifle, some ammo for said rifle, and a first aid box. We can then take the ladder to the upper platform for two more ammo crates, and other than the spectacular view, that's all there is. Back on solid ground, we can loot the gutsy, and then finish with three more ammo crates in the rundown shack. And there we have it! The Montgomery County Reservoir and the Reclining Groves Military Checkpoint. If you've enjoyed the video, then consider leaving a comment, liking the video, sharing it with a friend, subscribing to see more, and enabling notifications to avoid missing any activity. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next adventure.